the real deal. What's up guys, it's Jake from The Real Deal Airsoft, and today I'm going to be fixing my full auto spring on my Daytona AK. I'm also going to be doing a detailed walkthrough showing you the trigger group and the heart of the Daytona kit. The issue I'm having is that instead of having full auto, I'm having a burst feature, which is telling me that the full auto sear is getting pushed out of place, or not being held up enough by the spring. Pushing up on your airline makes disassembling it a little bit easier. And out comes your bolt tank assembly. Next step is to take your HPA fitting off. Compress the little plastic tab, push up and then down. That's how you take this piece off. And guys, if you enjoy the content, be sure to hit that sub button. It helps me be able to pump out more videos for you guys. The concept of the trigger group is that there's a semi and a full auto trigger sear. On semi auto, the selector switch pushes the full auto sear out of the way so it does not make contact with the valve. And when the bolt takes cycles, it pushes the semi auto sear down to reset the trigger. On full auto, both sears touch the valve. So on full auto, when the bolt tank cycles and resets the semi-auto sear, the full auto one is still pressing the valve, which gives you continuous airflow. And right here is where the selective switch makes contact with the full auto sear. I use red Loctite on all the screws on the body, so I had to use a blowtorch to loosen it, and now I unscrew. This is the main screw holding the kit in place. Next step, remove the selector switch. Just rotate it up and swindle it out. There's one spot on the receiver that you have to modify to take the kit. And this is where it is. Whoa there, partner. You have to dremel out the receiver a little bit here. The semi auto sear has the little brass piece on it, which is the disconnector for the bolt tank, and the full auto sear is the one that I'm pointing to now. There's a little groove where the hook of the spring is supposed to go, but mine broke off. So I just glued the spring to the sear. So again, in full auto, these two sears are approximately at the same distance, and they touch the valve at the same time. So even when the semi gets reset, the full auto is still touching the, the valve. And in semi-auto, um, the full auto valve is pushed down in a way, and only the semi is touching the valve. And the bolt tank pushes back, it pushes the valve down, resetting the trigger. Again, I glued mine, yours won't be glued, so don't worry about this. There's two hooks on your spring. The small one wraps around the little metal trigger part, and the other longer piece of the spring slips into your full auto sear. There's a little cutout for it. And believe it or not, they sent me the wrong replacement spring. Instead of sending me the full auto one, they sent me one for semi-auto. However, all I had to do is trim the bottom end of the spring, and it still works just as fine. And now I'm just reinstalling the sear. For you guys, you would slide the little hook on the spring into the cutout on the sear. For me, it might not line up because it's the wrong spring, but it's gonna work just as fine. Yes! Apply some red Loctite. Great. 
Next step is to put the selector switch back. Finagle it over the sears and pop it into place. When you push it down, it should be making contact with your sear. That's what I'm talking about. Full auto, baby. If you like the video, be sure to like and subscribe. See you on the field. The real deal.